These relationships that you think are so awesome, and you know why they, and I'll, I'll, I'll fill you in a little. I'll fill you in, especially the teenagers in the audience, and the young people in the audience who kind of just recently kind of shot an email and somebody emailed them back and a little Facebook thing happened and you know a little little wink and a little hee hee there at the, in the playground even though it's a separate school but in recess you saw each other like hee hee and hee hee <laughs> like a little bit of that happened let me just fill you in a little you know all of this is a product of low self-esteem you think you're ugly so if a guy thinks you're cute you're like oh, really I'm beautiful <laughs> You know, you have low self-esteem. You think nobody's gonna like you, nobody's gonna want to marry you, and all of that stuff. And, and on the other hand, this, the, the guy, like, you know, we, we don't have good friendships and good relationships, and we're looking for something. And, and most of the guys, you, you don't have, I don't have to tell you what's going on in your head. You and I have a jama'ah on this issue, the, the, the things that go on in our head. There's no reason to me, for me to explain all of that to you, you know? But, you know, just because you have raging hormones, and you're, you're like daydreaming about, about girls and things like that, it doesn't mean that you're in love. It just means that you, have, you haven't controlled your temptations yet. And you're ruining somebody's life. You're ruining an entire family. You realize what you're doing? And you call it love? You tell me if she was like 50 pounds fatter, you'd still be in love? Because she's the same person, same ruh inside her jasad. Right? If she was a burn victim or something, her hand burnt off, or her ear was missing, you'd still be in love? Or you'd find somebody else to love all of a sudden? And if you can't answer that question honestly, then come on, you're not in love, you're just hormonal. That's all you, that's all you are, you know? This is what we've done to relationships that are supposed to be beautiful. Marriage is supposed to be a beautiful relationship. It's supposed to be a lifelong relationship. But because you're watching all of these models on TV and stupid like, you know, women that are just throwing themselves at men and all this stuff, and you've developed this delusional concept of what it means to have love in your life. Delusional concept. Our deen came to free the world from this nonsense. To free it. Because we have a more mature understanding of what it means to have love in your life. You know, to, to have... I'm not saying you shouldn't marry someone you like, you should. You, it's, you should be attracted to your future spouse. All of those things are fine. But there's a, a decency that you have to be, exhibit before then, you know? And if you're okay with talking to a girl like that, you should be okay with somebody talking to your sister. You're okay with that too? Not if you have any ounce of decency left inside you. If you do, then you know, th this is how we have to, we have to end these things. And now if, if you've been in that kind of relationship or you're in one of those relationships right now, nobody knows. Only Allah knows and you know. But I'm saying, and you're like, oh, after today's lecture, I have decided I no longer want to be your friend. You know, don't even write that, because even then you're looking for a response. You're kidding yourself. And then you're checking, did she write back? Yes, we should no longer be friends. And then you'll write back, you're right, we really shouldn't be friends anymore. And then she'll write back, yeah, never again. And then you're like, <laughs> you're still doing it. Just stop, just cut it off. Just cut it off. It's not good for you. It's okay to be attracted to a girl. Allah put that in you. You're not evil for finding a girl beautiful. That's not... It's not haram for you to feel that way. You have to control it. You have to control yourself. Our deen teaches us self-control. And if you cannot exhibit self-control in one aspect of your life, you'll lose self-control in other aspects of your life. Same thing for you. Same thing for you. Control yourself. Control your giggle. Control your overly like friendly demeanor in certain situations. Don't, don't be oblivious to... Don't say oh, we're just friends. Or he's like a brother to me. If he ain't your brother, he ain't your brother. That's it. That's it. Either he's your brother, you share a mom, or he's not. And that's the end of it.